For viewing sunspots, telescope-based systems are great, but they can run thousands of dollars. There is a cheaper alternative, and that is the SunSpotter, but even that's 500. I was looking for something a little bit cheaper and easier to use, and I found this, SolarScope. It was only $125, and while it looks very flimsy, it's just cardboard construction and a little bit of plastic, it really works quite well, at least to show, for showing uh, that sunspots do exist and that they change over time. Uh, it's a very simple system. You've got a, uh, a box base, and uh, this is the actual scope right here. And you just rotate this in altitude, elevation, and rotate it like this until you get the, uh, the suns centered so that you can see the image on the back. Here's how you line it up. You look at the shadow of uh, the end of the lens on the uh, plastic holder and you center it until it is very concentric. And that's pretty much it. When you look through the back, what you'll see is uh, probably a, a, t a bright spot of light reflecting somewhere on this focusing ring here. Uh, what you do is just fine tune it up and down, back and forth, until that spot of light disappears and that means it's in the center. How it works is there's a lens up front which concentrates the sun's light and focuses it down here and then this is a convex mirror which projects it up to the surface inside here and creates an image of the sun and any sunspots. You do a rough focus here by rotating, pulling this in and out and then locking it in, and then a fine focus here. Once it's focused, you can put it on a shelf and forget about it. It'll, it'll stay in focus very well, so you don't have to fiddle a, a lot every time you bring it out with uh, getting the, uh, the image of the sun in focus. Assembly took me about half an hour, and the biggest problem is that, to my eye at least, the um, line drawings that are supposed to explain how to fold the, uh, the cardboard box pieces together didn't make sense. Uh, I eventually just went to looking at the, uh, uh, the way the cardboard was cut and the images of the uh, device fully assembled, and I was able to figure it out better that way than following the line drawings. The most difficult part of the assembly is getting the convex mirror into the focuser here. And the reason is it's, uh, the uh, inside of the focuser is shiny, the mirror is shiny, and it's hard to tell if it's convex the way it's supposed to be or if, if it's concave. Uh, also, there is a rubber plug that once you get the mirror in, you're supposed to push up to hold it in place and that is very difficult to do. I had to use a wood dowel to put it in place and if it turns out that you've accidentally gotten the mirror in upside down, getting that plug out is almost impossible. That actually happened to me and I had to cut the plug uh, in half almost, reach in with a needle nose pliers to pull it out. There is a slight problem in that this is a flat surface and the focal plane of the lens mirror combination is actually a sphere. I have made an insert uh, that uh, creates a spherical surface here and it does give slightly better images but it really isn't worth the effort. Although you get some football distortion here uh, when you get the image of the sun off to one side, uh, it isn't bad enough to, to really create any problems. Let's take a look at how it works. And here's what it looks like in operation. Uh, the disc of the sun is about three and three quarters inches in diameter and slightly football shaped because the focal plane of the lens mirror system is actually a sphere and not a flat surface here. But this works really well f as far as finding sunspots. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a nice large one right there and two smaller ones around here. This device will not produce finely detailed, sharp images of the sunspots. All you'll ever see are some uh, slightly darker areas uh, with a, a blurred margin around them. 
Now as it happens, uh, when I made this video, we are in a sunspot low period. In about five, five and a half years, we'll have a sunspot maximum, and you should be able to see uh, the surface of the sun covered with sunspots that are also uh, not only more numerous, but much larger. You will also not be able to see solar prominences, that is, jets coming out of the surface of the sun. The resolution just isn't high enough. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful.